3. Hello everyone, buddy, and welcome back to All Elements Athletics, developed by me, Albert Alel Kessler, and my good friend Pimen holding the camera, uh, assisting. Now, uh, today the, is the second chakra. We are uh, focusing on everything that has to do with the second chakra. The second chakra is situated behind the pubic bone and behind uh, the, 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 back, the back side here, uh, all sacrum, right in, the, right, right in the middle. It has to do uh, with uh, the element of water, with, uh, with, with sexuality, with uh, femininity. Guys, oh, you, you have to discover that as well. Uh, and uh, the mudra that I'm using with it is this one. Uh, you can also use your, your, your own one. Some, some people like to use the, the waves of the water uh, on this. Part. Meditation again is just concentrating on this area, part of, the, of, of, of your body and breathing in and out really strongly um, uh, and uh, with sound or just uh, subtle, you can close your eyes and just open this area by, uh, by, by focusing on it. You can cleanse it with the following uh, breath, uh, it, will, it will go like this and uh, you can actually feel uh, that your genitals are actually uh, working that, that breath too. So, so I, I would do something like this. And the whole area is actually squeezed and released. Note that the uh, measure that I'm using is a three-quarter measure. This has this has to do with this feminine and this um, uh, this quality of this uh, this very chakra. So the Tai Chi exercise for that would be cleansing and uh, doing the fire breath with the, with the water element, using all the kinds of uh, you know whatever you know from Latin dance or from belly dance <laughs> or uh, anything that is referred to you with movements that are connected to a snake. All these movements will uh, embrace this chakra and will kind of be generating the energy from the lower part of the spine, actually second lowest part of the spine and directing it towards the yin side, taking it up and then into the yang side. I can do different arm movements with it, for instance, pressing the sky. I can also do crossover. This is, the, this is my favorite because there's a lot of uh, crossover in the brain going on while you're doing it in the body. Right side and left side of the body are crossover controlled by our brains. Using crossover exercises will uh, make your brain more functionable and uh, create more synapses. Uh, so actually more... Uh, potential in thinking so this is the this, these are the exercises in in uh, in the in, in, in staying if you want to go uh, for a little for martial arts you would use X you would use movements that are coming from outside to inside this is referred to to, to the feminine the the, the, the receiving uh, you would say that the, the, the masculine part would be the the, uh, the the extension of energy whereas the feminine part would be the inhalation the yin uh, energy always kind of takes in takes in and down so all the movements that go from outside to inside martial arts movements would be of course swinging with the fists uh, or with the with, with the open hand uh, movements of, of, of dance would be stuff that is going from outside <clears throat> inside open arms and anything is possible the, uh, the, the, the feet would do round the jambes for the dancers from outside to inside yeah, this can be done in all kinds of variations. Uh, and for the martial artists, this would be kicks that go out and in, in. Yeah, so a, a kind of a mia lua in in capoeira terms. Um, actually, the the inside kick would also be part of it, although I I use it more in the in the in in in, 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 in another sense. Uh, and of course, crossover movements are great for this. Oof. Again, yeah doesn't have to be so beautiful. You can work on your form all your life, but you can work on the content in a second. Uh, the, then uh, that anything that goes to the, to the ground for the, for, the, for the Pilates exercises, um, I would, uh, for, the, for the stretching, I would use uh, the chakra here in, bre with breath work and to the side with the stretching work. So everything that goes to the side and combine it maybe also with some movements of 
the wave just hold your breath this is also really good do the movements of the wave and then exhale by really letting your energy flow from the lower spine into your uh, into your uh, the, the whole the whole leg system and down into your feet you can also massage your feet a little this part here would be related to the to the um, uh, to the lowest to the lowest part part of your spine the, the so the pelvic area would be kind of here and you can massage that in uh, in order to, to still yeah work, work this area as well so uh, if you've done this then you would kind of go into the movement in lying position so a very strong exercise is to lift arms and legs and do the wave movements here you can combine it with breath work you can combine it with holding your breath and then again you hold your arms up and your legs up and then from outside to inside you can do all kinds of resistance exercises for this for this one would be the resistance of air where there's hardly any resistance uh, I could also put on the resistance of earth then I would kind of imagine that this room that uh, that, that <coughs> counts as the aether is actually filled with sand and I would have to resist more or stronger I could even imagine a, a big stone so this would be almost impossible to penetrate yeah? if you if you if I would imagine water I would be kind of in the middle of earth and air so this would still have resistance but it would be more fluent you can combine these movements of course by doing crossover exercises it is it takes some time until you completely get the synchroni synchronicity of movements in uh, and and anything is possible that is that is combined with wave and outward inwards movements you you can actually use your imagination and create your own exercise so the same thing however is is done on the on the on the on lying on the tummy and this becomes really interesting because if you imagine your your uh, your face on the back and your actually your navel on this side then inside uh, outside inside becomes this and this is already a little bit of a challenge but I tell you it's awesome for your buttocks and it's really really good also for your lower spine so these movements it, apart from the fact that they are actually doing a lot for your brain are creating a very very healthy lower spine area buttocks and uh, all these muscles are, are completely trained in a, in a way that you usually don't do this this hard this area and again you can use uh, resistance like earth or water and fire goes like this guys check check this out fire is you imagine a spot and you try to hit it as fast as possible or the other way you can also try to hit your, your leg but it should have a uh, it should have a round movement yeah and then <laughs> I always do these exercises to, to relax and then this is this is the killer for people who really want to work their upper body you go into the you go with your mind into the chakra and then you do the outside inside movement combined with a uh, with a with a push-up so you will open this do the in outside inside movement and combine it and open it up again yeah? you can also do it the other way around that you go down and press it in. It's a killer, I'm telling you. You do four of them, you're dead. Um, but <laughs> ambitious people can go on up to up to a hundred. So this is really up to you. Yeah, uh, relaxing relaxation exercises is in this case uh, going sidewards again. The side exercise is actually the one that dominates here. And this is a wonderful possibility also to relax maybe some extra tensions I usually let my head drop not hold it up so much and let it drop and uh, what always works also is uh, it's just shimmy shimmy in your upper body especially if you've done a lot of work shimmy in the sitting position shimmy in the in the standing position especially if weather is a little cold like today uh, shimmy is a wonderful possibility to combine with the cleansing And then of course always use the relaxation part too 
not only active you have to kind of it should be a balanced thing you, you should you use act, active parts almost as long as um, as meditate meditative parts or relaxing parts but sometimes the weather doesn't permit that always so I would rec recommend if, if it's really cold you just keep shimming most of the time and then take your time to go into the hut or somewhere where it's warm and then do the relaxation or go, go home take a warm shower and then relax for 10 minutes actually lying on the ground with open eyes is the best yeah so this this basically was it we have uh, the Svadhisthana chakra yeah the, the the color would be orange in the in the in, in, in the rainbow it is related however to the element of water if you want to if you want to do a Celtic meditation you would face uh, the direction of south you would look you would look into the south and you would imagine um, oh sorry uh, no not south west so water is in the